2021 is a very special year for BMW as they are celebrating a 40 year anniversary for one of their most popular and best loved and best selling models of their range and the model we're talking about is the GS. The story started in 1981 and to celebrate this this year they have launched the full GS range in the very iconic Bumblebee colors. Now at Route 21 we try and bring you the unusual and rare and not so common and just like we did with the Moto Guzzi carbon range where we assembled all three the V7 carbon, the Odace carbon as well as the MGX Flying Fortress uh, carbon series all together side by side under the South African sunshine to review and compare the kind people at BMW 4 Ways assembled us the full Bumblebee 40 year anniversary GS collection side by side not a common sight but Let's have a look at them individually as well as side by side and see what makes them unique. Starting with this one and the perfect starting point. This is the Urban GS Edition. Now, it's actually based on the original 2013 R90. And in 2013, with the R90, BMW celebrating the 90th anniversary. BMW Motorrad was founded in 1923, so 2013 uh, was 90 year celebration for BMW. They launched the basic R90 model and then evolved it. It was the perfect canvas to have a custom bike and then later this more closely uh, based on the R90 Scrambler edition like the high exhaust and that. So they took it to the next level and brought a few more cosmetics in like the screen in front here based on the original R80 GS. So what's also very unique about this bike, it is the only one in this GS edition which is still original air and oil cooled. As you can see the oil cooler up front and the finned boxer motor over here. Also what you will notice going through this range with the single-sided swing on BMW's shaft drive, the shaft drive is on the right-hand side on the air-cooled models. So yes, the original 2013 R90, this Urban GS based off the Scrambler edition in the iconic Bumblebee colors. Next up, we have the entry level. For the younger generation to get in on the BMW GS lifestyle, it is the G310 GS. Yes, a little 310, compact you will see this bike has the perfect combination of good build quality however affordability so you will see things like the wheels it doesn't have the more expensive laced wheels and all those options but a in essence a liquid cooled motor a single 310 final drive on this one being chain however you have the iconic gs look you have the iconic bumblebee colors and on the adventure side of things you're only a couple of millimeters lower on the seat than the bigger GS's, uh, I think 10 millimeters lower than the 850. Here I need to confess, the only one we're missing to complete the set would be the 750 GS, because I'm standing next to the 850 GS. But if you picture from a 310, you go to a 750 and then the 850. Now the 750 is a perfect blend between a 310 and an 850. It also has the more cost-effective options and then the 850 takes you to the next level when you're really ready to step up to the bigger 1250s. You will see this 850 GS I'm next to. It has the more off-road spoked laced wheels front and back. Interestingly, this is also a liquid cooled motor. However, this is a parallel twin on it. You will see it's slightly bigger, bulkier and the iconic bumblebee colors taken even more onto the seat, the dual tone, as well as the embroidery. A really awesome bike. Now we're getting to the business end of the GS range. And the two bikes I'm standing between are the GS, the 1250s. One on my left is not the Adventure, the, the normal 1250. And on my right is the big boy, the top of the range GS the 1250 Adventure. Now, the main difference between these two bikes would obviously be the, the massive tank 30 plus liters versus the normal one, as well as all your bush and nerf bars around it. It's like the four by four of motorcycles. Now, what's also really great with this opportunity where we have these two bikes side by side, both the 1250s come as the 
Option 719. And Option 719 is the BMW customizing parts. And being the iconic Bumblebee anniversary model, it is standard with a Option 719, but let's call it stage one, the entry level. And that comes with the, the machine billet heads, really pretty, and a couple of engine parts. So that is the standard Option 719. And this 1250 GS has the higher spec option 719 and as you will see it also has the 719 motor the heads but not only that cosmetic parts the rear view mirrors are 719 the levers you can't see them they're tucked away behind here but they have an exceptional feel they're just fantastic these reservoirs and the lids are machined billet uh, aluminium lasered and etched if we go further back, you'll see those foot pegs, stunning machined, even with the rubber, your, your brake and gear lever with the eccentric, fully adjustable. So this being the higher spec option 719 on the 1250 GSs. These two are pretty much where adventure bikes have gone over the last 40 years and BMW really leading the charge with this shift cam motor, still iconic, they stay true to the boxer motor where the story started and what better way to celebrate it than in the very iconic bumblebee colors now just to recap these two big 1250 gs's are air and liquid cooled split radiator one either side and on the air and liquid cooled motors the final drive is shaft drive the shaft always being on the left hand side of the bike the 850 is the liquid cooled parallel twin dual swing arm final drive chain the 310 is the single liquid cooled final drive chain and the Urban GS is the iconic original air and oil cooled. And on the air and oil cooled, your final drive is shaft, shaft being on the right, not on the left as per the water cooled. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode with us, having a look at all the iconic Bumblebee GSs side by side. Please remember to click like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up and join us for more.